Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this guy. So, on the heels of the Robo Spider uh, uh, Echo holder for the Echo Dot, I developed this uh, rocket version. Um, so I thought it was kind of cool. So one of the pieces I figured to share with you guys, over to the side I'll have some time lapses and assembly videos. Uh, now, kind of a little bit of warning, I did flame finishes, so be careful if you decide to do it. I would more recommend a heat gun. Uh, however, with the torch, because it is hotter, uh, you can kind of whip it through quicker, and it's a quicker, you know, uh, finish, if you will. Sort of like if you're doing acrylic, but only do that if you know what you're doing. And if you do it, it's all on you. So anyways, just want to take a little bit of uh, time to talk about this. So uh, pretty simple in, in its design. Again, like the Robo Spider, it locks together, so I definitely suggest having a small file and its cleanup tool to clean up the uh, openings and the holes and things like that. And as you see here... I still have some to do here that I have to, to do and knock out. Uh, for some reason, I got quite a bit of stringing in between some of these holes. You might notice that in, in the build video that's probably running over there. Uh, but not too bad to clean up. Now, the way I did design this also is so the Echo Dot sits up here at the top, and it's sort of the capsule of the rocket, and you can kind of see this. And then, like the Robo Spider, it's open down here in the bottom. I hope you can see that. So it's got good acoustics. Now it's kind of cute and put a little nozzle on it down here so you have a little thrust nozzle. But also I wanted it so so something could sit on this base. Uh, originally I was going to design a pencil cup but I really didn't have enough room in this direction. And I didn't want to go any bigger because I wanted to keep this as somebody with a a 200 by 200 printer could print it because I did uh, print this as you saw as, as one package on the, the Creality CR10. So that's what's really nice about that printer is you can put some really big project on it and just let it go and uh, rather than having to do piece by piece by piece. But uh, that aside, um, I thought this really turned out pretty cool and uh, again like I say you can set something on here um, I really don't know what, but the other thing too, <laughs> which is interesting to mention, and I sort of chuckle about it, the Robo Spider I discovered is also a good plant stand. So um, anything with this base diameter, you can really set in here. So it doesn't necessarily just have to be for the Echo. Uh, you can put other things, and uh, you know, again too, you can run if the power cord is small enough through the holes here on the side, up to the top. Um, and through the side here. So a number of things you can do. I really like the sort of retro modern steampunk look of this. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'll actually probably do a few more of these. Uh, and hey, if you got some ideas for, um, you know, an Echo Dot stand sort of like this, uh, let me know in the comments below. And hey, maybe I'll whip it up and put it out on Thingiverse too, because, uh, you know, these seem to be quite popular on Thingiverse. I know I put the Robo Spider up there and within hours, there were like hundreds of downloads. It was sort of crazy um, at some of the stuff I've seen come across on that. So pretty popular, I guess. And so uh, anyways, here you go. Uh, here's another Echo Dot stand, if you will. And uh, there you go. So let's take a look at it this way, and you can kind of see better. And again, I left this open. If you guys kind of think of some uh, more neat uses of this space in here, let me know. It seemed to be a little bit short for, for pencils because, again, you see here pencils or pens were, were was a little bit too big. Uh, one of the things I thought about doing, because this is open in the nozzle, is uh, I left it 15 millimeters, so maybe you could uh, stick like a test tube vase in here or something with a little flower. I don't know, something cutesy. But if you guys got any ideas, let me know in the comments what I could what I could put here. Um, because I just like the look of its stature, and I didn't want to go too big or too big of a footprint, because that's the one thing I noticed about the Robo Spider, is it takes up about an 11 by an 11 footprint. This takes up a fall, far smaller footprint, so if into a few tighter spaces so anyways hopefully you found this uh interesting enjoyable and if you did hey don't forget swag shop's going to be up there subscribe button over there hit me up in the comments below let me know what you're thinking or if you have any other ideas for echo dot stands that might be novel or cool so hey we'll see you next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all